All right, so we have a quadratic equation here. We have ax squared plus bx plus c, and there's two ways to solve it. One way you can solve by factoring, and if you can't factor it, you can use the quadratic formula. So a is whatever is in front of the squared term, b is in front of the linear term, and c is the constant term. You can put it in here and calculate the two values of x. There's two values because it's plus or minus. So when you're solving a problem that looks like this, let's say you have a rock. It starts 30 meters above the ground, and it's thrown upwards at 20 meters per second. It goes up, 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 down, down, down. And you want to know how long it's in the air. You do not know the final velocity because you don't know how fast it's going when it hits the ground. So you're going to have to solve this equation for t. Okay? You do know delta y. It starts here, it ends up there. Delta y is negative 30. You know the initial velocity. If it's launched upwards, it's positive. In my case, 20. And you know the acceleration because it's a free fall problem. So how do you solve this for t? Because t is there, it's squared, and t is there. So in order to solve it, you have to use the quadratic formula. So what that means is, I'm going to write out what this is with my variables. So delta y is negative 30 equals the initial velocity, so that's 20 times t. One half the acceleration is negative 4.905. So the acceleration, of course, is negative 9.8, and half of that is 4.905. That's times t squared. So this is the equation we're solving. To solve the quadratic formula, we have to get it in standard form. So I've got to get the 30 to the other side, so it equals 0. So now I have it in standard form. And then, whatever is in front of the squared term, right here, this thing in front of the squared term, that's what we call A. Whatever is in front of the linear term, that's t to the first power, we call B. And whatever is constant, we call C. So we're going to plug that into the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says that to find our values of t, we take minus b plus or minus, so we can do it twice, once plus, once minus, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So for my problem, I just plug in those things. b is 20, so it'll be negative 20, plus or minus the square root of b, which is 20 squared, minus 4 times a, which is negative 4.905, times c, which is 30, divided by 2 times a. So that's 2 times a is negative 4.905. So that is the expression which will tell us the time. And we're going to do it twice. Once with the plus, once with the minus, you'll have both times. One of them will be positive, one of them will be negative, the positive solution. So you just need to plug this into your calculator and just watch out for the groupings, okay? All of this is inside the square root, so make sure you use parentheses in your calculator, or maybe go ahead and calculate it, and then do a couple steps to figure this out. Okay? So that's how you solve a problem that involves t and t squared.